Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, we'll be solving the lead code problem binary tree level order traversal. So let's get started. So the problem is that they give us a binary tree and they ask us to return the level order traversal of its node values from left to right inside the list. So to solve this problem, we're going to use the breathe first search algorithm with the help of the iterative approach. So the first thing we're going to do is to create the queue to start the node that we find. We're going to use the queue to tell us how many nodes are each level and also to take advantage of the way its work means the FIFO techniques the first in first out then we create an output list to keep storing the nodes in each level in our binary tree then at each iteration we pop the element from the queue and append it to the list which represent the level so let's take an example so you can visualize the solution let's say we have this input binary tree first we create a queue and also create the output list that we'll have inside it at each level and the binary as a list the first thing we do after that is to iterate throughout the queue and pop the root node and add it to the level array then we move to the left of the root node we check it if it exists we append it to the queue the same thing for the right children and we repeat the same process by iterating throughout the queue and at each iteration pops the first node as we know the queue has a FIFO technique first in first out so we pop the 9 and add it to the queue and the same thing for the number for the node with the value 20. so here in, the, in this example we have the right has two children which means the same process can be repeated and finally we group all the level lists into one result array that's it guys so let's jump at code in the solution first we we'll set a condition if the root is non we return nothing after that we initialize a queue to keep track of each node in the current level then we initialize an output result array after that we start iterating throughout the queue we initialize another array to hold the current node at the current level after that we initialize another variable and set his value to be the length of the queue then we set another loop that's gonna iterate throughout the current length of the node inside the queue so we don't miss any node in the current level after that we start implementing the FIFO technique by popping the first node inside the queue and add his value to the level array we check if the current node has a left child we append it to the queue also for the right and after that after the loop terminate we add all the level array to the result array finally we return the result array So the time complexity for this solution is off n because we are visiting each node inside the binary tree and for the space complexity is also off n because we are using q data structures to store the nodes. So the second solution will be using the deep first search algorithm but in recursive approach. The first thing we're going to do is to create a result array to be the output then we create a helper function that take the current root and the level that we are at then we set a base case if for each node we return after that we set another condition if the length of the result array is smaller than the current level means we need to add another array for the next level then we append to the result at the current level the node value after that the function call itself with two arguments the left node of the current root and the level plus one also for the right the same thing then we call the function with the root and zero means we start at the level zero finally we return the result array so the time complexity for this solution is off n because we are visiting each node in the binary tree and for the space complexity is also off n because the recursion stack will have to store n function calls. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.